Hello grade 12s. This is part 2 of the 2016 trial paper where we're going to be completing this side of the drawing which shows this door arch on the side. I'm going to start by just getting the shape for the rest of this wall. So I've got my lines that are projecting across here and I'm going to take the corner down to my stationary point and what I'm going to also do is just find these edges at the moment as well here is this corner and at this corner now we need to change direction So this is the corner and now it's at 60 degrees and it needs to be going away from our left vanishing point take this edge down and give us that corner now this is a little piece of purple meaning it must be going from this corner to our right vanishing point they, they are going to the right vanishing point now take our outside edge And there we've got the end of the wall. Let's find some basic easy marks for the door before we worry about the actual arc. Here is our opening that is shown here in hidden detail. We have this line over here so it's quite easy for us to take these two points and project them to our stationary point where they hit the picture plane, take the lines down and we can get the edges of the wall. Here are the edges of the wall. I've got to just find this one by taking this corner back and that would give me the opening. Now I need to find the height. Now for the height there are two ways we can do that. We can do the spider method the spider method would mean we'll take the height to a center line. So for example, we could take here is a center line. From that center line, we're using the spider method. So that means from this point, it's in a pink line going along this wall here. It means it must be coming to the right vanishing point. Yeah, it's coming to the right vanishing point it hits the corner now it goes to the blue line so it means that it must be going away from the left vanishing point and that gives us the height that we need the second method that you could use is the false center method what I'm going to do is create this false center. So take my line to where it hits the picture plane by extending it. That is a false center. So what I now need to do is take the height that I need to that point. There is the height. It's at this point and it's going on a blue line, which means it's going to the left vanishing point. Now I am hoping that these line up, which means my drawing is accurate. And I think that's close enough. So those are the two methods of getting that height at that point. Now, let's get the arch.
with any circle we know the steps is to put in pizza slices once I've got those pizza slices I want to take them to the center line now I've created the false center and you've seen me use the spider method it's up to you which method you want to do I'm going to use this false center on the side project my three heights across the highest point we could find quite easily because now if we take that to our vanishing point we can take the center point down and that would give us a highest point so you should be able to find those three points even if you can't find the other points so here we go with that point there was my highest height it is on a blue line which means it was going to the left vanishing point I've taken the center point projected it to my stationary point where it hits the picture plane I'll project that down and that gives me the highest point of my arch the next aspect is finding the points to match up with the heights in the top view here's where we're going to bring our compass in if you've got your circle stencil I suppose that could work as well and we need to draw in the semicircle here draw in your pizza slices where those pizza slices hit your circle project them back to the wall and now you've got the points that you can project down to your stationary point let's do those two at a time so I'm going to take this point which is the point closest to the center so that will mean this point is closest to the center on that side this point is closest to the center on the other side and I'm projecting those to my vanishing point sorry my stationary point where they hit my picture plane I'm going to project, project those lines down to give me those two points. Same process again. Project my height line across to my vanishing point. This point was closest to the edge, so now I'll take the marks on the wall closest to the edge of my wall, project that down to my stationary point, same on the other side, project it to my stationary point, where it hits, I'm going to draw the vertical line to intersect my lowest point here. And there are the points 
which I can now join up. Flexi curve would be good. There is the front edge of your arch. To complete the arch, what you should be doing is taking the corner and projecting this to your vanishing point. Take the corner, project it to your vanishing point and take the inside edges of your pizza slice to your stationary point and bring them down. That is quite a long and tedious method and you can use that. What I find will work just as well is if we use a paper trammel. What I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to take my point and project it to my vanishing point. So here's my first point. Here is my second point. my third point and the highest point which we don't really see now the paper trammel we know that means I take a piece of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up that measurement so if I look for my first point there was the edge and that's where it finished now I take it up to my next point mark it off take it up to my next point, mark it off, take it up to my highest point and mark that off and now we can join up those points and there is the inside edge of that arc and I just need to finish off the door here And there is a nice challenging two-point perspective I did enjoy this drawing a lot I think it was a nice challenge with the way these lines change direction and that is the end of the 2016 trials paper